Hi guys, I want to show you some very strange uh, radar images and satellite uh, pulses on the Mimic site that I've never seen before and something is happening that is not good. I want to start first with reading Ian Rand's quote, uh, not a writer that I particularly liked, but she did say an awful lot of profound things like, we are fast approaching the stage of the ultimate inversion, the stage where the government is free to do anything it pleases while the citizens may act only by permission, which is the stage of the darkest periods of human history, the stage of rule by brute force. The inversion has taken place. This is what we're living. When the people are afraid of government, you've got tyranny. When the government is afraid of people, you have freedom. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along. When people can do anything and they don't care about the consequences of their actions, that's a very dark period that you are living, especially when the majority of the people are doing whatever they so please, feeling they have no responsibility whatsoever except to their own little life. The lying that goes on in this country is really sickening and pathetic. If you see something like this on satellite off the coast of California, it probably can scare some people, right? You kind of think it looks like a hurricane. You see that little counterclockwise spinning thing there off the coast of San Diego, a little bit southeast of uh, San Clemente Island? That is called a stratocane also known as a von Karman vortex. It's basically just a little eddy, it's harmless. They don't do anything, but they do tend to form sometimes, at least most often, when you have some kind of island around that has elevation. So what'll end up happening is, picture this, the air comes around the island and it's forced to then come back toward the center and then it starts to do the spinny thing. Does that make sense? Okay. I can't stand this guy. Do you see all of the microwaves? the scalar waves. Do you see all of the frequencies that are very clear? Do you see that hole? These, this is blown with electromagnetic frequency. It's very obvious that this is not Mother Nature and it's not just that little anything and it's harmless. This is a creation of man. Do you see what looks like a faint square with a hole in it? All of the frequencies. This is hit with a lot of microwaves. And I am so unbelievably tired of the lies. Look at the grid pattern that develops right here. This is not Mother Nature. This is man. And this is a boy man lying. But hey, he gets to live a comfortable life. What is this? What is this? Now, this is doing some rather strange things. And you will see an awful lot of frequencies in use. I'm looking at Virginia. Uh, did they turn it off? Yes, they did. So I've got to pull up the video. Hang on. All right. This I captured at... Uh, quarter of one, 1242, 
Eastern Standard Time. Whoops. Hang on. Okay. Again. The stripping of the electrons. I'm afraid you're going to be seeing some pretty uh, severe weather. Severe. Okay, so they turned it off. The powerful pulses they turned off in Virginia, but we've got something. Well, what can you say? A growing tail on this storm. And a very strange frequency that I've never seen before. And it is coming out of Oklahoma. Oh, look at this man. Okay. All weather now appears severe. All weather. And we have got these, well, according to radar, the signatures, little beads of severe weather that just pop out of nowhere. All right, let's zoom in. I, I've never seen a frequency like this. Let me stop it. Well, wait. So, let's stop it. You see the extremely low frequency. There are frequencies just going right through all of these storms. But this one, and I'll show you on College of DuPage in one second, has something very, very strange going through it. And you can see it at this, um, not zoomed in, these little spikes. This is not Mother Nature. And it's taking on the red, the very severe weather is taking on very Oh, odd. It's an odd pattern. So let's go. Let's go back. Okay, you see the microwave there. Here it is. I've never seen this before. I don't know what's happening tonight, but something is. What is this? This is an extremely low frequency. I know the harp, the Nexrad, Doppler radar, the high frequency signatures, but I've never seen this. And if you can't see my cursor, I hope that you have spotted the anomaly on your own right here. Um, they don't care how strange things look. They'll just get a meteorologist to come up with some bullshit explanation. But I have to tell you, I want to hear from you guys in Oklahoma and Texas and uh, down here in Colorado and Kansas. Uh, northern Missouri, Illinois, on up into uh, Michigan and Ohio, especially, because I, look at this, how straight edge this is. This is not Mother Nature at all. Now we know that they are using weather as a weapon. 
And we know that we can't get through to people. And they know it too, because it really doesn't matter at this point. They know how damaged most people are. The willful ignorance, they know that they're not going. And even if everybody, you know, suddenly started asking questions, it takes years to fully understand what's going on. We don't have years. We don't have years. Anybody who has a healthy mind would be able to see that something is not right here. They would be able to see this is not Mother Nature. And then that healthy mind would then ask the question, well, if it's not Mother Nature, what is it? And then they would do some research to find out. But we don't have a lot of people with healthy minds. So, College of DuPage. This is really unbelievable what we are looking at. And, all right, well, I didn't hit the right uh, area, but look at all of, you see the circular lines, that's the Doppler radar, the high frequencies, and they're rippling through this entire storm. This is a huge harp next red ring. And you've got these Doppler radar stations firing away powerfully, and then around it all of the Doppler radar stations that are also emitting their extremely low frequencies, their high frequencies. All of this is a creation of man. You know, these little dots that appear. I never saw that until these past few weeks. Now, Iowa, you have to be prepared for possible tornadoes, severe weather. And they usually erupt. In the, so you take this defined circular pattern of precipitation and continue it full out. And it's usually in the center where you will find Um, within, I don't know, 24 or 48 hours, tornado or um, well, whatever, whatever they plan for you. So let me bring it down. Where am I? I want to go to Missouri, Kansas. Try that. Look at this, okay? You're, we're talking, no meteorologist can possibly look at this and say this is natural. No, it is not. This, they blow a hole right through the precipitation. Now, Look how straight lined all of this is. Look at how jagged it is. This is very strange. I, I don't even know I mean, it takes on a little bit of a 
extremely low frequency signature, but I, I'm not even sure what this is. But the defined line of it, this is not natural. Some, there is, and now you have a square in the middle of this severe weather. Look at the precipitation that juts out in a nice defined line. It takes on this right angled shape. Um, but there was, oh, it might be gone now. Shoot. Something is, this is not right. Look at this. Um, I just, I really hope nothing really, I hope everybody stays safe, but we are looking at more and more casualties of this war. So, yeah, this, and understand this, you're seeing so many different frequencies being used. The spectrum, the electromagnetic spectrum, the extremely low, the high, the microwaves, um, all of it is not it. Look, they can modify, they can create weather, but in these areas, all life is being affected by these frequencies. And it did leave. Shoot. All right. Well, what I was seeing was precipitation right from here. This weird um, on the top of this storm, whatever it is, they had a this precipitation jutting down, and then it became very bright, like a bright light. I had to find it on a video that I um, posted, or not posted, but captured. Now, strange looking uh, precipitation that juts out from this very defined uh, storm, but look at the precipitation, this bulb that turned. Wow. This is being hit with some kind of frequency. Right there. And right above it, it takes on a very sharp point. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. But this is what we're living, guys. Can't believe it. So, um, let's just go to satellite. <laughs> Look at this. It's attaching itself. These two storms are attaching. Now, I've done a little bit of research on nanotechnology, um, using nanotechnology for weather modification, for cloud construction, and how clouds can talk to one another. 
but not enough to really speak to it. This is not normal. Will that capture it? Will that? That will. So, are they creating some mega storm? Well, it looks like it on satellite, but who knows? Who knows? You know, um, meteorologists don't even know. They don't even know. And I'll show you how they don't know. Right through here, you can see the extremely low frequencies. They're cursing through this storm right here. And where are we? This is Kentucky. Is this, uh, this is Ohio. And I hope. Oh God, I just, I don't like the way this looks. That's all I have to say. I don't like the way it looks. So what are we seeing on there? We are seeing something very strange, something I've not seen before. The breaking up of precipitable waters. Now, precipitable waters, they have a flow. They have a nice flow to them. We are seeing an awful lot of powerful frequencies cursing through, breaking up. Look at this. It splits apart up here, the Great Lakes. If you can't see my cursor, let me see if I can. Yeah, I can. It splits apart right here. It's getting hit with some frequency. It splits apart here, up in Canada. It takes on a very straight-edged pattern, central United States, right here. This is not what we should just be seeing like a steady flow. This is being hit with an awful lot of dangerous frequencies. How are you guys feeling? I have to tell you, um, I am really struggling to I'm, I'm struggling. Keeping my my mind focused, concentrated, you know. Okay, well, we also have a very powerful pulse in the Gulf. Right there. Boom. Okay. And what do we have? More than 260 dead dolphins found on the Gulf Coast since February. Triple the usual amount, Noah says. Red tide, really? Claiming that it's all the flooding and it's causing no oxygen or something. When you see and when you know that our Navy is cursing through our oceans. Dangerous, fatal, sonic frequencies. When you see a pulse like that, 
and then you see this. Well, a pulse like that could kill an awful lot of life. in the Gulf. So, storm. Storms and severe weather possible for Father's Day? This was posted and updated. Um, now it says seven minutes ago. Well, let me refresh it and see if we get a new time. So, meteorologists now. It was two hours ago. A meteorologist, they can't they can't forecast severe weather within hours. Within hours. Really? They can only say possible for Father's Day? When weather is being used as a weapon? No, meteorologists can't forecast weather now. Because they don't know what they're even looking at. No. Oh, they know they're looking at something very strange, but they can't figure it out. Why? Because they know that weather is being used as a weapon. They probably can't read radar anymore. So all they can come up with is possible. Possible. Or, hey, how about chance? Chance for severe storms on Father's Day. This was posted 11.15 p.m. Father's Day is already happening. It's 1.19 a.m. on the East Coast. So, they can't forecast severe weather that is possibly going to be happening within 12 hours. Flash flood. Northeast Ohio. How are you guys doing in Northeast Ohio? Bulk of early week storms to miss southeastern U.S. drought areas. So, this one stretch here is not going to be hit with precipitation, but half of the United States into Canada will. All of Florida. All of these states. And, yeah, well, most of South Carolina won't, but upstate where I live will get hit. Round of downpour, severe storms to renew flood threat in South Central. I am so Sorry to all of you who have been living with rain all for months and months and months. That's all you've had is rain. Oklahoma, um, uh, you know, that should beg questions. What is going on with the weather? What is going on with this weather? Well, it is being used as a weapon. And unfortunately, they're flooding out the central United States. Absolutely none of this is Mother Nature. None of it. Look at the microwaves that are filtering through. Look at all of these weird um, beads of severe weather that just erupt. All right, you guys know it. You guys know it. I hope everybody stays safe. And for the fathers out there, 
my subscribers, those fathers who really have taken on the responsibility to be a good father, I wish you the best day. I really hope that you have a good day tomorrow.